friends welcome back to my youtube channel salesforce AI champions today i'll be going to talk about how to use web search within and salesforce agent so i'll be creating a agent force data library with the capability of web search and i'll be using that uh, agent force data library then into a salesforce ai agent so from the quick find i'll be searching for agent force uh, agent force data library and we can find under the Einstein section. I'll be clicking on it. So I'll be just creating on uh, clicking on this new library, and I can just provide the data library name as like uh, demo web search ADL agent force data library. I'll be clicking on save. So in the data type, we can just select different four types of data types. We can see knowledge, files, web, custom retriever. I'll be selecting this web and the data space like default data space. And this option, this toggle needs to be on and uh, like uh, turn on web search. So whenever we are turning on, we are just authorizing that Salesforce retrieve publicly available information that is available in the internet and that can be uh, displayed into the agent uh, console whenever we are just chatting with that agent so in the search results uh, we can just see publicly available informations so this basically like uh, you acknowledge and agree that salesforce does not review verify or guarantee the accuracy completeness of safety of search results since those responses are getting uh, from the like from the web scrapping or from the web search we are just getting so this is like some some sort of uh, service agreements so and this web source like search the web and it's, it's already enabled like uh, agents use everything on the internet to generate responses so i'll be just click on save and uh, by saving on it uh, going forward like your data library will be ready to be used in like in prompt templates or any uh, directly in the agent so we can just use this library so let me just uh, check this agent so i have already created an agent with uh, respective configurations like um, topics and actions i can just show you like uh, this is the agent i have already created and we can if i see this data in here i can see that i have selected <coughs> this one like web so web is nothing but uh, one another data library that i just created earlier for demo like if i just search agent force data library so like this is this one so the same configurations is there for this uh, data library as well like data type web data space default and <coughs> this turn on web search is enabled and we can see that uh, this data library and this option this sources option needs to be checked this is optional by the way but this is better to be checked then with this check like so sources so whenever we are chatting with agents those responses the agent is providing to us will be uh, <coughs> will be showing that uh, from which sources or from which website the agent got those informations so that uh, source tracking will be there while we are interacting with the agent and i have already created this topic like web search agent and if i just uh, tell it little bit like uh, i have added this classification description and scope for this agent classification description tells that uh, this topic is about enabling the agent to perform real-time web searches to obtain specific inf information about things but not about the company policies rules anything related to this company the agent is capable of accessing up-to-date publicly available data from the internet to answer the users queries accurately this includes retrieving definition of factual data uh, events by utilizing search engine capabilities there is a scope as well for this agent like your job is limited to accessing publicly available and non-confidential information 
the agent can perform searches to answer questions about general knowledge recent events or factual inquiries however it should be attempt to access or retrieve personal data it should not attempt to access or retrieve personal data perform transactions or engage with services requiring authentication this agent should also refrain from using web search for queries that can be answered based on pre-existing knowledge base additionally you should avoid retrieving information that is harmful violent biased or harassing and i have added like few of the instructions like if you are unable to help the customer even after asking clarifying questions ask if they want to escalate this issue to a life agent then include sources in your response when available from the knowledge articles or otherwise proceed without them determine if the user's query queries fresh data that may not be available in the pre-existing knowledge base such as recent news uh, factual updates or specific information about the entity then we have uh, if multiple sources provide conflicting information highlights this to the user and provide the most reliable resources uh, summarize and present the information in an un understandable format ensuring relevance to the original query avoid searching for and displaying sensitive or personal data only use publicly available information <coughs> and there are three like ensure the information retrieved is not harmful violent biased or harassing the customer then if a qu query does not fit the web search criteria or can be answered with existing knowledge refrain refrain from performing web search and use the agents built-in resources instead and the final one is if the user if the customer's question is too vague or general ask for more details and clarifications to give a better answer so these are like instructions scope description of this agent <coughs> and i have added an uh, one action like ans answer question with knowledge so this action needs to be there for this agent and we can just uh, di search directly in the web if i just search for the company like tell me tell me about the company salesforce in bullet points and we should get the answers <coughs> in the bullet points but there are some issues let me just activate this agent And now we can just see uh, see the results but it says that i cannot perform a web search at the moment however i can provide general information about the salesforce based on existing knowledge <laughs> so it's getting this from the salesforce existing knowledge base it's not able to perform the web search at this moment so let me just check with another example now it's searching for the web 
and we can see that sources we can just see it's taking information from the wikipedia forbes meta.com and it says like uh, meta platform ions is an american multinational technology company based on menla park california it owns and operates major social media platforms like facebook instagram whatsapp messenger meta is also involved in digital advertising virtual reality through its oculus products and other tech driven initiatives the company's mission is to create technology that connects people to meaningful experiences and interest let me check with another example like let me search with bitcoin use cases <coughs> and we can search we can see that it's searching the web and there are some issues as well like it's showing the results but somehow not showing now let me search with another example like uh, okay there are some issues it's happened for this web search altogether in salesforce like sometimes it's work and sometimes not works properly but this is a process like how we can just uh, search the web using this einstein uh, agent force data library by creating a agent force data library of a data type like web and we can just use that data library directly in our agent in in the data library section and we can just enable sources as well and we can just create a new topic with the respective uh, configurations and instructions and with the added out of the box action like answers question with knowledge with this setup configurations we can make a agent perform this perform uh, website perform searching the uh, web directly so thanks for watching for today if you like this video please like share subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching